guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Kristen and today's video is a little bit different from my normal content I normally post all budget related content my weekly cash stuffings all personal finance personal finance type of but videos but today I'm gonna walk you through some of my 24 planner stack um some of you guys have asked to see what i'm using i'm also going to be walking through the budget planner that i'll be using since i am a budget channel so we're gonna jump right in um i have them all sitting right here some of them or one of them's new actually two of them are new um and one i've used before like the concept we're gonna jump right in though um i this is a new video for me so bear with me if i'm kind of all over the place i've never done one of these before um but i picked up a i think they're called a mini happy planner i've never used a happy planner i'm usually an ec girl erin condren girl um or like the moxie life which you'll see i've used that a couple times over the last four years i think they're four years old um but anyways this is a mini dashboard layout happy planner i actually got this off of um makari i was just looking for something a little smaller and i wanted to try it out before i committed to like a full planner i had some money on my makari and so i think it was only like eight dollars with shipping it is only six months um i believe this person that was selling it that was just selling the last six months of the whole year because I think this planner was from like June to June to June type of situation um, or July to June, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would pick this up to see how I liked it. I do like that you can take the pages out. I really do like that. Um, I have yet to start planning in this, any of these. Um, but this is the dashboard layout. So you do get a monthly spread, uh, kind of like a week at a glance situation, a dashboard page, and then you got your like week. Um, I plan to use this as a content planner. I am going to be a lot more diligent about my video. She also included this cute little pack. Um, but I'm going to be a lot more intentional with my filming, with my, at, like my uploads. I want to create a schedule this last year. I kind of just like threw videos up whenever I got them done, filmed and edited. I tried to like be consistent with what I was posting on certain days, but I was far from like really being consistent and I really want to be consistent in 2024 with everything that I'm doing. Um, I've really been thinking about like my word of the year and I, I'm i thinking I may go towards the word flourish because um, I feel like just this last year, like the main area in my life that was really, really good was my budget, which is amazing. And I thank this channel because it has held me so accountable to my budget posting videos, but everything else in my life, I don't know. I just feel like last year was kind of hard or 2023, we're still in it. Um, was just kind of a rough year for me overall, like health and wellness. I mean, I stay consistent with like workouts. Isn't this pretty though? Um, health and wellness, like all that stuff was like mediocre um, which I'll get into more. I'm going to, I'll get into more of that when I go through Mox Life, but this is the dashboard, the happy planner dashboard layout. So like I said, I plan to use this as my content calendar. I'm going to use the monthly as like what videos I will be posting, what shorts or TikToks. I really want to start posting more on TikTok. Um, kind of like what I need to do, probably like what videos are going to go live here and then each day like my to-do list for that like whether I need to film or edit whatever um so that's how I plan to use this so yeah I'm glad I found this on Macari I didn't have to spend any money because I used some money that was sitting in there from something that I had sold so I'm really excited to get into this and start setting this up 
Um, but yeah, that's a happy planner. And I, like I said, I love that you can take these pages out and so I can just work on it and then snap them back in. Next is my Moxie Life Planner. So last year I actually got the digital version. I did not use it whatsoever. I think I used it maybe two times. Um, I didn't use any of the goal setting like situations, none of it, um, which is really unfortunate um, because I have, I used it the first year that Moxie Life came out and I loved it and it did help me stay on top of like my goals and everything like that. And I really felt like I made some growth in that year and I've just fallen off. And so I thought this would really help with the growth that I'm trying to make this next year. Um, so I'm really excited to dive into this. It did come with this 2023 reflections notebook. I'm excited to get into this um, and really start kind of digging into like this year um, because like I said, I know there have been a lot of uh, downs, but also some good ups. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this in the next week and kind of really dive into 2023 and see where I want to make some adjustments, um, what's working, what's not moving forward. Now this Moxie Life Planner is the their flagship planner. They've switched it to a disc bound, um, not disc bound, a spiral bound. So I'm really excited about that. It came with this ruler. Um, and then once I get this snapped in. So yeah, I actually went with the horizontal version. I'm trying to be very minimal this year when it comes to decoration. I'm trying to be more functional instead of like more decorative. I have used an EC hourly in the past and I decorate it because I feel like I'm trying to take up space in it. And I just, I'm not like a blank, like I like to see some white, but I feel like the hourly and vertical planners are just way too much white space for me. So that's why I chose vertical. But the Moxie Life Planner is just like a regular planner. You have your monthly and then you have your weekly layouts. So whether you choose horizontal or vertical, like I said, I went with horizontal. You do get a habit tracker down here in the corner as well as like a little note area. Um, I plan to just use this as functional as I can. This is kind of be, going to be my catch-all. Um, I do use my Google Calendar for like work and some other things, but for this is going to be like appointments, things like that. Um, also like systems to work on my goals, which this is a whole system for goal setting. Um, Let's see. So you have like a life compass, all this stuff to really just focus, like dig deep on these different areas of your life. You set a score for yourself and then you see how you can see where you're at on numbers. Oh, never mind. I thought that was it. And then it kind of walks you through and shows you how to set goals. So I'm really excited to get into this. Um, I'm going to be working on this over the next couple weeks leading up to January. And really just getting back into like focusing on myself. Focusing on like building my relationships with my family. All that stuff. Personal and spiritual growth. Like physical environment. I know something that I've been struggling with lately is like keeping my space tidy and that really reflects in like my mental health um so this is gonna help me a lot and I'm really excited about it so like I said it's all a whole goal setting system you do have a place for annual goals and these are the different areas that we're focusing on and then every month you will have your monthly goals and then each week you will have a reflections page as well as a weekly actions like setting intentions for the week for each of these areas. So this is where you kind of break down your monthly goals from week to week. And so, yeah, I'm just really excited. And I'm such a paper and pen girl. I don't know why I thought I could do the whole digital thing. I just never got into it. Um, so like I said, I will be using this as like my catch all appointments, how, what I'm going to be doing in these areas will go onto these pages 
and so on and so forth. And so, yeah, that is the Moxie Life Planner um, monthly reflections at the end of the month. Cute little quote. But that's how they are every month is the same. There's minimal color. There's each, each month has some color in the monthly and then these. But I'm really excited to kind of get away from the stickers and just putting pen to paper, using some mild liners and just kind of like sitting down. Because I feel like when I had my EC monthly, while I love the stickers and the decorations, like they're so cute. I felt like I just kind of procrastinated sometimes on planning my week because um, I had to sit down and do all the stickering and, you know, that type of planning. I love it, but I think just in this season of my life right now, this is going to be the perfect, like, option for me. So, yeah, you have April, May is this pretty yellow. June is this like teal bluish color. July is more of a, like a darker blue, purple, gray, orange, and then another. And then you have December, which is like a red. And then extras, you have your year at a glance and then 2025 year at a glance, which I really like. This helps plan any types of vacations, anything like that. And then you have several notes pages. So lots of room to make like reading trackers, weight loss trackers, things like that. And then you have a cool little um, pocket divider. You'll get stickers. Um, if I can get them up. So these are the colors, the Mox Alive colors. And then it has this, um, why can't I get it? This like, I forget what they're called, but you can stick stuff in here, stickers, whatever, papers, whatever. Um, and I really like this, this cover. It's so gorgeous. I love this, this thing. And I'm so happy that they switched to the spiral, um, coil, the coiled, um, spiral thingy. I, I'm not a planner person to like talk about planners. Um, so excuse me if I've said that wrong, but I honestly, I did not enjoy the disc. Um, this was, I believe 2021. And so you see the difference, the disc, uh, I love a spiral. So it's, I, I, I love it. So I'm really excited about this planner. I'm really excited to get back into goal setting. I, I'm, I have not been goal setting. I have certain things that I'm tracking and set goal setting, but it's like small little areas of my life. And I want to have just a, an overall picture and every month really be intentional with what I'm doing um, with my time and my life. And so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to 2024 and really putting this planner into action. Okay, now for my budget planner. This is the planner that you guys will be seeing every month, every week. I'm really excited to get to use this. This is by Sarah Marie Stickers. She is sold out, which is amazing for her. This is her very first planner that she created and she has sold out, but I think it is just gorgeous. It's got this really pretty rose gold foiling and then the rose gold coil. I like the corners here and it is a hard cover. She said she is um, kind of starting to work on her 2025 planner. So if you don't follow her and you love this planner or like are interested in it, go follow her. I'll have her link down below and I'll have um, the Moxie Life website link down below too, if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, she said she's working on her 2025 planner. So it's really pretty. She has this really pretty floral design. She's such a floral like girly and I love it. Um, and then she's got these cute little like budget icons, like the money, the cards, the little piggy bank. I think that's so cute. The receipt, and then you get into the month, or this is actually 2024. I did buy some of her stickers to set up just to make it a little bit more like decorative, but I'm not gonna do the full blown, like if you've been following me, you see like 
when I do on the weekly pages or on the blank pages, I do the, um, why is my mind blinking? The washi and then you do the header and the strip and you have to write everything out. Everything is laid out for you in this planner. So I'm really excited about that. She, her stickers is what I've been using for like three or four years now for budgeting. So I'm so excited to get into this. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I will be doing a little bit of decorative stickers, not much, but I did buy some of those and I will be setting up my 2024 budget um, within these next couple weeks to get into January. So guys, be on the lookout for those videos. If you aren't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss any of those. Definitely click that little bell um, so you get notified. But we have a business budget, summary, and taxes. So this is for 2024. A 2024 budget as well as sinking funds, emergency funds, your net worth tracker, Utilities tracker, savings tracker. I love that she's included all of this. Investment tracker, a debt tracker, medical expenses and gifts. And then home maintenance, which is awesome. Um, and car maintenance, which is really cool. I've done like written this out in the past. I obviously don't have a home, but you know, anyone that does, or maybe if like I'm, I don't know, we'll see if I change that up. And then you have a couple notes pages. And then you go into the months. So beautiful, um, what are these called? Um, dashboards? I don't know. And then you go into the month. Um, she's got really pretty colors, so the colors will match the tabs. And then you go into the budget, which I'm really excited about because this is exactly how I've laid up my now budget planner. You got the weekly check-in on this page on the right side. We got the January budget, the monthly budget. She does have it separated into variable expenses and fixed expenses, which is what I do. And then I have a transaction log where I put a transaction log on my left side, which is like this, as well as my sinking funds is on that next page. So this is just like so perfect. And then I actually set my tracker up like this as well. So I usually do my savings on top because there's a lot more. And then I do my debt tracker, which is just my car. Sometimes I'll have like a small balance carried over on a credit card and I pay that off like whenever the due date is. Um, but, and I just keep track of that. So it's usually only like a line or two, but I like, I think this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I think I have 10 different like savings buckets. So that might work. I might have to like go up in here. Um, and then she's got a cash envelopes tracker. And then you get into the business budget. So the January business budget, business expenses. And then you have like your expected, your income, all that stuff. And then you'll get a several lined pages, which is awesome. I plan to um, buy her bill tracker stickers. So I probably will put that over here. And then I like to do in my Erin Condren now, my monthly planner, I do have, I use the dashboard to track some um, income, some goals, things like that for my finances. And so I plan to use these pages for that now, but I do like that she has quite a few notes pages after. And that is it for each month, you guys. Every, like I said, every month is gonna be the same color as the tab. She really did a great job with this. I'm so excited to start using it. Um, I will be putting some stickers in these, like in the January one as well. I think I'm gonna try, I bought the month for January. I'm gonna try the monthly view. I bought the expense tracking stickers cause I love the color coding for that. Um, but for these, there's like some decorative sheets. So I'll just be doing a little bit of decorating, maybe like a little washi right here, just to break it up and make it a little bit more fun and pretty. Um, wow, this planner is already beautiful. Um, then you have March, but yeah, that's my plan. Um, and April, May, May's my birthday month. June, pretty, got July, August. 
So yeah, they're the same setup every month. And then you have December. How pretty. It's gorgeous. I wonder what it's November look like. Pretty. Okay, and then after December, you have a notes tab. So quite a few notes pages. This is amazing. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21 pages of notes love that she has included that this is great like any other tracking system or maybe you want to like really get deep in like goal setting like who knows how you want to use it but i love that she has already included that many lined pages that is just so awesome and then there is a folder back here a little pocket folder so if you want to store any of like stickers i always keep my expense tracking stickers in here and then i also have a sheet of like no spend track um stickers so i will move those over and then you have the back so that is it and i also love that there is this on here um but that is it you guys for my 2024 planner stack i hope that you guys enjoyed it is definitely a video i'm not used to filming i am really excited to get into this planner and start setting it up for 2024 i will be walking you through my 2024 budget my sinking fund setup like all of that in the next few weeks so definitely be on the lookout for those definitely subscribe if you are into budget related content um but that's it you guys for today i hope that you enjoyed i would love for you to give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you guys in a video real soon